What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode here at F-Line Garage where nothing is too hard for us and we are still working on this LR4. If you watch the other videos over here, uh, you'll see that uh, we removed the uh, injectors, the fuel rail, spark plugs, coil packs. We did a combustion test. We did a uh, compression test. Uh, we took off the intake manifold because we found a coolant leak and today we are going to be taking off the valve covers now everything else has been removed so this should be an easy job right um it's just a bunch of 10 millimeter i think it's 10 millimeter bolts you just undo those and it comes right off right how hard can it be let's get started so if you've been following along you've noticed that the intake manifold's off um there's a whole bunch gone and here's all the coil packs injectors spark plugs all the good stuff now today we're going to be taking this off and hopefully the valve our uh, cam covers uh it's just a bunch of these 10 millimeter bolts there's some there there's some in the middle and i believe there's going to be some down there right down in there if it'll focus Okay, so we got a couple down there. You can kind of see the line of them going back right down there. So we're just gonna take all those off and this will come off. There's obviously some things here. We'll just try to move it, you know, move it up and out of the way so that this can come off. It obviously comes out a lot easier than going back in when you don't have to worry about lining up a uh, valve cover gasket because going back in, you're gonna need to line it all up. But I'm gonna deal with that later today. This is coming off, this is coming off, and we're gonna see at that point how much out of alignment we are. So I got the valve cover off. It was a little harder than I thought. The key is get this wire loom behind it and move it over. The screws actually don't come off. They just become loose and uh, gets, they get stuck on the bottom right there. Okay, so that's cool. The two hardest ones are these two. This sit underneath the firewall area. So you gotta get some swivels and get them in there, but they're not impossible. I could still easily get to them. So uh, then you just gotta pry it out and uh, came out really quick. So uh, now that I'm looking at this, the chain's not all that loose. Um, and I'm just kind of looking here. I see the timing mark here. And I see the timing mark here. And the yellow chain down there, that's my timer. And the yellow one there is my other. So I want to turn the whole crank over to try to get these two things aligned and we'll go from there. I wanted to post this because when I was dealing with this the other day. This was very tight. Now, if you look at it, it's very loose and it's coming off the teeth down there. Now, I have a 24 millimeter down there on the crank. I'm turning it clockwise. And what's happening is these adjusters will turn. This gets tight then it gets loose and then these pop or snap and bring up the tension again. So it's making me feel like these are bad on this bank. Uh, well, actually the whole thing, but this uh, is spring loaded. And when I go to turn it again, it'll just pop. And so I think something's either not catching right. It's all gunked up. Uh, anything like that. So I'm going to start taking off all of this. Uh, I'm also going to check the timing. I am able to hold compression, so I don't think the valves are bent, but I definitely, when it was running, could hear this, you know, bouncing and chattering and clanking. So I think now it's time to start uh, taking off the passenger side and disassembling all of this. So um, how hard can it be? I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me trying to take off this valve cover because it was uh, a little bit harder than I thought. There were just those two bolts in back by the firewall that um, I was able to see one very easily. 
and could take that off. But there was the second one that um, I just I couldn't find for the longest time until I could get a light back there and really look. So um, there's that. We also got to check out the timing, the loose chain. We definitely have an issue. So we're going to be taking care of all that in uh, future episodes here. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for all the other ones. And up here, I do have the whole series prior to this, uh, to this one. So thank you all again, and I'll catch you next time.